changes to pass. Welcome to Leaders for Pets. My name is Kirsty. And I'm Phil. And you join us as we work through our A to Z of board games. For K, we have chosen Karmaka. Karmaka is the reincarnation of your lives from the lowly dung beetle up to a transcendent being. Ooh, nice. You'll be playing cards from your hand into your good deeds or into the well. Uh, discard pile, which will then um, trigger certain effects. Ooh. So without any further ado, Let's see if we can transcend. Oh, oh. I've got the karmic rings. <gasps> <laughs> we play games way too yes, often together. Really. Would you actually be red or yellow? I'll be red, please. It's yeah, closest. It's from the non-red yeah. head. So yellow it's, from the, yeah. For the pale one. Okay. So, in the game of Karmica, uh, <laughs> you have your personal deck, which is just here. You have your hand of cards and you start off with four in your deck and two in your hand and on your turn you'll be drawing a card from your deck and you'll be playing a card from your hand. You can play a card to one of three locations. You can play a card to your future life that holds that card over until you reincarnate and becomes part of your future life. Lovely. Or you can play a card to your good deeds and you'll be playing them for the suit. So in this instance we have the red suit. Um, representing anger and fire. And lust. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm all for lust. Uh, you've got a blue suit, uh, you've also got a green suit in there, oh. and you've also got wilds in there. So, um, the green. The nature. Nature, yeah. So the value at the top is the value of how good that deed actually is. So when you play it to your deeds, that becomes value two. And to reincarnate it and take a step up the transcendental, uh, the transcending ladder, I need to have one suit with a value of four at the end of the game, at the end of that life. Now I'm going to play as many cards here as I want, and I might play two blues and get to my four, and then play some greens and some reds to protect them, because often okay. there are effects on the cards that can affect the top. Um, and this is always played in order in your deeds. So sometimes there'll be a card that says discard the top card of somebody <gasps> else's deeds. That's awful. Yeah, it's not cool. Um, so that's playing cards into your deeds and you're playing them for the suit. Okay. You can also play cards into your future life and hold them over. And the third place you can play cards is here. So the discard pile. The future life, is that face up or face down? Face down. Ooh, secret so to face up here, life. face up there. Okay. <clears throat> if you play a card here, you play it for the card effect. I'm just going to randomly pick a card. Vengeance. <gasps> card effect is at the bottom. So you're playing to this card pile. In this instance, uh, you ruin a rival's exposed deed. It's speaking, <gasps> of, speaking of that exact effect. Oh, nice. So this is the ruins here. And to ruin a rival's exposed deed, I take the deed and I put it in the ruins. Now, whenever you play a card here, um, the karmic effect triggers and the player you played it against can make a choice of moving that into their future life. <gasps> so you, you might have done it now, but be careful because it might get it come back, back at you. Yeah. Karma, what, what goes, goes around, around comes, comes around. around. And Ooh. other cheesy cliches we're going for today. <laughs> yep. And so... In a multiplayer game, so this is just a two-player game, but in a three or four-player game, if that person doesn't want the card, it then has the opportunity to go around the group okay. and people can choose if they want that card in their future life. Cool. So when you think about your future life, you're not just thinking about getting vengeance on the player that no, messed you up. Mean. No, you might also be thinking, actually, if I can get five red here mm. to start off with, I can be in a really good place. Okay. Because in my next future life, I'm already I've already got the cards I need to get past that five to uh, transcend the level. About that. Have you not? No, in fact, there's two things you've got <laughs> in this little explanation. I thought, oh, why do you not? I think about that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing you'll be doing uh, by the prettiness. <laughs> is once you've played the last card from your hand uh, to whatever location, mm -hmm. uh, you will then that your that current life ends. Oh. Oh. oh, so like current life ends at that point. Um, then you have to wait for your next turn, and on your next turn, you reincarnate. 
So the first thing you do, you're going to do. Can. Well, you always reincarnate, but you might be as a dung beetle again. Oh, okay. So you're going to you're going to reincarnate, and so the first thing you're going to check is your deeds. Have I got enough deeds in one suit to get past whatever the number is? It goes four, five, six, and seven. Okay. The first person to transcend at seven wins the game. It looks like they become a human being that's currently floating. Yes, in blue light. Wow. Now, if you don't have enough, you get to take a karmic ring. Karmic rings can be spent on reincarnation mm -hmm. to add one to the suit. So you don't need, at this point, then need three. Correct. Plus but, your karmic ring. Yeah, but if you get four that time, mm. you, can save uh, it. you can save it for <gasps> an, another future life. Because wow. that's how karmic rings work in the real world. I didn't know they existed. No, I know. This is exciting. I didn't know they existed. I'm, making, I'm, I'm, I'm now officially making it. <laughs> um, after you've reincarnated, so on that turn, <coughs> all you're going to do is decide where you reincarnate. Mm -hmm. You're going to move your future life into your hand. And then if your hand is less than six, you're going to draw cards up to six to make your personal deck. Okay. So that's how the game works. Without any further ado, we need a first player. So I'm just going to... So Kirsty will be the first player. So okay. draw your hand. Which is my hand of two. And then draw one card from your deck and play a card. <clears throat> Future life already, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna draw a card. Oh, interesting. And I am going to play a deed. Okay. Over to you. So I take one. Play one. Play one. Okay. Another into a future life. Kirsty has a plan. I don't know what you're talking about. Ish. <laughs> I will play that. <gasps> now there is a strategy where you can just burn cards quickly into your future life and get a karmic ring and save it for later. Because Why did you do that? Uh, having a karmic ring pretty much will guarantee you a step at some point. We're at that stage of the game where we wait for Kirsty to play <laughs> Sorry. Um... Longevity. <laughs> Longevity is a fantastic card to play for its card effect. Ah. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play Stolen Dreams <gasps> and move the top card from a rival's future life to my future life. I stole your dream. You can move, you can now take stolen dreams into your future life if you want. Okay. That's my day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Okay, I am going to play that to peak. Look at a rival's hand. You may then play another card. <coughs> it's, it's really not exciting because... So do you want to take peak into your future life? Uh, can I remember what's in my future life or not? Nope. Yes. Put that. And I'm going to play that to there. Okay. Um... Um, what do I do if there's no ruins? That's it. Does it mean I can't play? You can play, but card. you can't take the effect. If you play to the ruins, yeah. there'll be one card in the ruins. It might not be worth it. Um, how do I take from here? You need a card that says draw from the well. This is the well. This is a karmic well. This is where all good and bad things spring. Okay. 
Right, so now I'm going to play out the bear to protect it. Move the top three cards of the ruins to your future life. Okay, so there's nothing there. Okay, so that is your go. So we come back to my go. On my go, I check my suit. One, two, three, and my mimic gives me four. Oh, no. So now there are ruins. Um, <clears throat> so I transcend. I become a serpent. I didn't have enough, so I need to do a ring. You didn't do a ring. So you discard those cards into mm -hmm. the ruins. Okay. And I top, I, hang on, before you do that, one, two, I'm just counting here, about one, three, two, three, four, four. five. Um, and you, so you need one into your deck. Now this is an interesting aspect of the game. So I now have a hand which will always be only two cards this round. Um, because I'll always be drawing one from here and only have a hand of two. Whereas you're going to have a hand of five. You're going to pretty much have all your cards to play from in any order you want. Which mm -hmm. gives you an advantage, I okay. feel. So um, I reincarnated. Kirsty now reincarnates. Mm -hmm. And I get my go. Okay, so I'm going to play Panic and drew in the top card of another player's deck. So do you want the Panic card for your future life? Ah, oh, I didn't even know what that was. No, <laughs> you didn't know. Do you want the Panic card? Um, no. Okay, and, we, and I get to play another card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Stolen Dreams. Okay. I now have a hand of one card. <laughs> Great. Massively limited. So I'm gonna. Okay. Mm -hmm. I take a card. I mean, it's not great. Um, I'm gonna sow, so I'm gonna draw two cards from my well, from the well, and then place them into my future life. Uh, two cards from my hand into my future life. Which was that? Because you didn't have a hand. Because I didn't have a hand. Okay. And drawing those two cards. Like, you can mm -hmm. take sewing now if you'd like for your future life. It's entirely up to you. Mm. No, i right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play that one and move the top three ruins onto my future life. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Recycle goes there. Would you like recycle? For my future life? Yes. Yeah. So I'm not going to do very well this this particular life. So I'm trying to stack up cards mm -hmm. for my next life so I can do better. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ruin the rival's exposed deed. Oh God, I've just got to it as well. I've literally got enough do to you want, move up. Do you want vengeance? You have enough to move up now. You've got three plus a karmic ring for. Yeah, but I need to go to my card. So face down for your future. Sorry, life. I should be face down. Okay. You're going to go with yeah. that. Yeah, thievery. Mm. Um, play that. Okay, I'm going to play that there. So I'll take that for my future life. You can have that back later. I've now. So you played, like, so my go. So on my go, I cannot get up there, so I'm going to play that into there. Draw a karmic ring. One, two, me, three, four. Best. I got two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and one into my deck. So um, I've got. I definitely made it. Yep, yeah, you did. So discard those. I, I get to play. You do. Draw your hand up. I've got two. And then four into your deck. And we now both have some cards to go forward into our future, uh, into a uh, karmic ring to go forward into our next life. Which is exciting. So who's going first? Then? Me. Okay, just so I understood. Okay, oh, I'll draw a card first, that's good. So. I'm going to play Destiny, look at mm -hmm. the top three cards of the well, place two on my future life, up to two on my future life. And that goes back up there. Okay. Yeah. Can I take that one? Destiny, yes you can. Into your future life. Draw a card from your deck. <clears throat> I like 
this one is gonna it's gonna be a lot like it. <laughs> it's such a pretty card. Um Okay, I will place that one. Okay. So I can take Are you placing one. it there? Yeah, but they, I need to do the action before I put it out there, don't I? You'd place it into this card and then move it to the oh, ruins. Okay. Then move the top it's three cards top to your three. Fuel future life. One of. Yep. And then I will take these on. And then that goes there. Yeah. I'm going to place sewing there. Your go. Um. Another day. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's almost like what I played. Almost. Put it there. Your go. You're in a rival's exposed D. Mm -hmm. I'll take them if you to <laughs> Okay. Um, so my go this time mm -hmm. round. So I've got two, three, four, five mm -hmm. with my karmic ring. So I get to become a wolf. So one, two, three, four, five, and one. I got the same. You get the same. On the you. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Perfect. So, who's going first? Me. Because okay. it just carries on in turn sequence. Oh, okay. You shouldn't have drawn that card just then. I'm there. sorry. I don't know what this one does. I'm going to swindle. Um, so I look at three random cards from the rival's hand. I think you only have three. Mm -hmm. And take one into my hand. And it takes Swindle. There you go. But look how pretty this is one of the foxes. I know, it does have a little fox. <laughs> Just so you can see the Swindle yeah, properly. It's so pretty. Yeah, so it's stunning. Awesome. It's a lovely card. So I can take that card, can I? Yes. Right, it's my feature one. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take that. Oh, I should have drawn that, by the way. And then place that one there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll go. Pick one. Okay. You go. Okay. And do that. Okay. Take one of the top three ruins into my hand. I'm going to take that one. Okay. And then place that there. Um, I will take salvage for a future life. I'm going to put that there. Your go. You notice how Kirsty will not play the horrible cards against me. I don't. I'm a nice person. Is it my go? Um, I think so. Okay. Put that there. Your go. <clears throat> Ruin the top two cards of a rival's future life. Then, and then what does it say? Then I may. Um, it's 
Yeah, we'll do the next time for that. Play a copy of that deed to ability. Which is what you've just done. Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure that's right. Am I go? Yeah. I'll take I'll take mimic as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Over to you. <coughs> ruined myself here because I haven't played a card down yet I've just no. realised I haven't done it so I have to make I have to just so Kirstie's Kirstie is not playing she <laughs> plays for a future life sorry, but not this I haven't life. played a card yet so I have to do that and hope that I get lucky or you can just play it to your future life and then get on you'll get a karmic ring what do you mean? if you play it to your future life yeah. next go you'll get a karmic ring okay I might as well do that then I suppose I don't know what else to do. We might as well save. I mean, it's not worth playing that now because the odds of getting what you need is pretty slim. I'm just going to try for it. <laughs> well, that seems fair. I'm going to play that there. So, yeah, so um, now it's my game. So we count. Zero. <laughs> there you go. How many cards in your. One, two, three, four, five. And then one in your deck. Mm -hmm. So I've got eight mm -hmm. here on my go. So I go up a step. Mm -hmm. I've got three cards in my hand and take three cards to my deck. No, it's my game. It is. Okay. Okay. Look how cute it is. It is really cute. <laughs> I'm draw a card. Okay. I'm going to play. Swindle as well. <gasps> well. That's definitely got you your next step. Mm -hmm. and then so, which draws two cards from the well, mm -hmm. and then I place two cards into my future life. <coughs> You're protecting that. Yes, very much so. Okay. Just think the artwork in this game is stunning. So I'm at seven now, which is what I need to transcend. Mm -hmm. Just telling you that because that'll win me the game. Well, that's great if you've got red cards or anything that affects, but if you don't, then I'm stuck. Well, then you need to see if you can find some red cards. <laughs> like Crisis might have been a useful one to play. Ruins one of their deeds, you see. Well, can I swap it then? No. <laughs> one, two, three. And then you can play another card as well. Mm -hmm. the, the rival of your choice ruins one of their deeds. The rival ruins a deed. So. Mm -hmm. My go. Mm -hmm. Your go. <laughs> I can't, I literally can't do anything, so I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> um, my go, I transcend to step seven and win the game. Aww. I'm sorry. I really struggle with this one. You do. I don't know why. <laughs> I can tell you why, and I will tell you why in the wrap-up. Go on then. So, do you want to tell people what you think of the game first? I love this game. Why do you love this game? I, love, you can't no, I love every game. I, I, it's a card I guess game. I, and I, I'm not brilliant with card games. Like the artwork on it is just It's one of the most beautiful exquisite. games I've ever seen in terms of artwork, the colours, the choice of colours. Yeah. The, the, when you see the red, you feel the lust, the anger, the hate, the, the vengeance. You do. You feel you it. absolutely do. The blue, you feel the calm, the calmness, yeah. the coolness. I think, what is it, denial, destiny, you know, like it's all things that... They, they could be a bit risky, but you know they could have a you know they're a bit a bit naughty, but in a calm way. 
Yeah. Like peaking and denying and destiny and fevering. And one of my favourite cards, which is not out at the moment, is Longevity. And I love I love longevity. Longevity is the green feels very natural. It is, yeah. Feels like life's gonna continue yeah. and it doesn't matter what happens. And no, even if Kirsty loses, it's okay because life goes on. So like longevity <laughs> deals two cards from the well onto a player's deck, and that can be any player, so you can have someone who's going, I'm ready, I'm ready to transcend to my next that life I and reincarnate. To have that one. <laughs> and then you can play it and you go, Oh, you've got two more turns, deal with it. Mm. And it can just give you enough time to really like like really mess with somebody's yeah. game, which is fantastic. The cards are really well thought out as well. The the ones that are almost like wild cards yes. are lovely because they yes. do actually feature all the three colours, so the blue, the green, the red. And the art I mean that looks like stained glass. It's, it does, it's it looks beautiful. Be, is there any other ones? Um, Embody? Uh, you got Embody. There's Mimic, isn't there's it? There's Mimic. I think. Uh, What's an Embody? Mimic. Yeah. Look at it because obviously if you're going to mimic something you change to match it. So yeah. a chameleon. So they've really thought through the artwork Yeah. and you'd feel that. Another thing which I really enjoy about this game is it comes with the beauty. I mean this artwork because it's, you know, I keep going <laughs> on about how pretty it is. But um, the other thing is that if you want to go on holiday, if you're traveling, it also came with a little micro um, deck. So you, all you need to do is carry along your pack of cards and your rings and you're away. Um, also you've got the really nice rules reference cards which are fantastic and just tell you everything you're going to be, going to be doing. The fact that if you don't win that, another part that I like about this game is if you don't win that with that particular hand, the fact that you still get rewarded with a benefit, Yeah. It, it's just, it's almost like you put the hard work in. You didn't quite get there. Here, good luck next time. There's one to help you out. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's got a, it's the whole gameplay of it. It's it's just beautiful. It it actually carries that sort of karmic message yeah, really nicely through. Um, and the fact that you can steal, like for example, if for example, like where Phil was like, oh, I'm be vengeful and be vile towards you and steal the card, <laughs> if you did, it's like fine, okay. If you're gonna do that, I'm bringing that over to my future life. And I'm gonna give it you straight back out. <laughs> and it, it, you can actually, you can feel that vibe about this game. Yeah, it's coming and back. I, it's I coming back it. to haunt you. Yeah, it is. It is very much so. It's. How it, many players is it up to? It's four up to players? four, and it yeah. plays really well with two. It's a nice mm. two-play game if both players are willing to use the power of the cards I to upset the rhythm the, uh, once or twice. Yeah, but at the same time, you need to have the red cards now because you yeah, use you them. Do. And you I didn't have the right, like the spike card, I think is a good one. Yeah, there's, there's, I don't there know. you go. Okay. You ruin two yeah. random cards from your rival's hand. So I could have chosen any two. But ruining cards from someone's hand is shortening their life as well, which is like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not called short people's life. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but, does not agree with this. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> when you play this game, you've got to be, like the card effects are really powerful. and mm, That's where I mess up. Yeah, you either play it for, they're really powerful, but they don't seem that powerful. So they're really, it's, from, in my mind, they're really well worded in that respect. And you're playing the cards, and that, that if you're playing for some of the really great power effects, even like subtle effects can really swing the game your way or away from another player. And I think that level of, of power is really interesting. When the game gets to four players, you'll have a lot more of that impact on other players as well. You mm. play against the players a lot more. We should play it sometime. We, no, no, we just the did. Game group. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, with multiple players, not just yeah. two, because I've only ever played this as two. No. But, I mean, even the card backs are beautiful. Yeah, they are lovely. Like, I feel that any of these, take away the writing, you could pop it in a frame. Yeah. And it'd be beautiful artwork. <clears throat> I think actually, as part of the Kickstarter, they did release the art prints as well, yeah. so you could just have the art prints as posters. Mm. Now, stunning. it's. It, it, it was a Kickstarter, so it's going to be hard and difficult to get get a hold of. But actually, from a unique perspective as a card game, I think it's a really interesting game. It's why I put it on the A to Z, because it mm. gives you something a little bit different, and it, it plays in a very different way. Yeah. And that, I think, is worth exploring, because I'd love um, for this game to go into print, and i also oh, yeah. love for a couple of expansions just to, to just basically increase the card deck. It'd be fantastic to have another suit of colour as well, um, yeah. which I think the game could actually maybe a, a, a yellow colour. Um, but actually, something but, you know, what would yellow be more like cowardice or brightness and positivity? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I suspect, yeah, um, because actually they have got good and bad. Well, yeah, no, I think the red are all evil. They're not evil. Christ, they're just things dwindle, that happen. Dwindling. Yeah. Actually, that's not too bad. No. 
So for me, Karmaka is a fantastic card game. Mm -hmm. um, it plays in a very unique and interesting way. I'd love to see more content for it. I'd love to see it go to proper print run rather than just a Kickstarter so mm -hmm. that more people could play it because I think it's absolutely worth a play. Maybe we should write them a letter. Maybe. A good old fashioned letter. <laughs> there are things called emails which are much quicker and much more effective. I like that's my handwritten. Okay. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out and gives us a real positive buzz. If you've got any comments to add or you've played the game of Karmica, feel free to add comments into the video as well. Don't forget, you can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Just search for Ludus Volpes. Thanks for your time. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.